come along while I spend Patron on this microphone. Watch out, I'm in the zone, worth for everything I own. Life is March Madness, one mistake, then you go. Yeah, I had a stroke, but your boy still rhyming. And fresh got love, but the squad's still wildin'. Catch me in any city in the hood, we grindin'. All right, the next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros, the comments made by Tyson Fury. All right, and here are those comments. Um, I just tried to bring my character down with a bullshit fed. Um, so if I was like the rest of the world, I'd probably sue him for defamation of character for about 100 million. Well, considering I'm not, not really interested in doing that type of thing. Um, yeah. So he'll never get a shot at me and I'm finished. He'll never. For, for what he said, listen, losing's one thing. Everybody can lose to a better man on the line. But to come out with the amount of BS that he's come out with over the last eight months, and he, he's conveniently waited until the contract's expired before he's, uh, he's opened his mouth for the last eight months. So, yeah, he's uh, ridiculous. And I don't even want to give him any air time. So that's it for him. Bye-bye. But, but, but the last couple of days were very odd about the, you know, things in your gloves. I mean, I had the privilege of coming into your dressing room, and as I know, and I can say it here on this recording with you, there's an official sitting there the entire time. This trainer Jay Diaz comes in to get to see your your gloves wrapped, and then they're taped up. I mean, it, it, yeah. almost like he'd taken the Halloween pill last Friday night, wouldn't it? You know. Yeah. I think he's lost his marbles. He, uh, first of all, it was the suit. Then it was a bicep injury. Then his trainer was uh, on our team. Then the referee was against him. Then I've had weights in the gloves. Um, so now someone spiked his water. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's one of the things that I love my interest in. But, but, uh, saying that, but saying that you would put something in your gloves to fight him is, you know, it's, it's one, as we know, it's one of the lowest things in boxing is, is you know, to, to, to do that to someone. But to accuse you of doing it seems so wrong, uh, you know. You know even yes, uh, defamation of character, isn't it? For sure. So, it is what it is. I, you know, well, uh, quite concerned for his mental well-being, to be fair, rather than his boxing career. That's gone. All right, and so uh, that's Garth Davies, um, his channel right there, you can see. Um, So, Trill, Dollar Bill, what is your reaction to Tyson Fury's comments about Deontay Wilder? Trill, uh, 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 Tyson Fury be watching Boxing Bros. (laughs) (laughs) that's what it is everything we said last week um nah man i i agree with tyson fury i agree with tyson fury um there's nothing more for me to say (laughs) i agree with everything tyson fury has said everything that i done said that we all done said um this is just it's shameful on, on Deontay Wilder's part, you know what I'm saying? Like, but that's another. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm gonna talk about that in a different, in a, in a, in a different segment that we do. You know what I'm saying? This is just. But I totally agree with everything that Tyson Fury is saying, and it's, it's everything that we already said. You know. All right, G. Yeah. Um, it's kind of funny when you listen to it, because. Uh, Tyson Fury and Ozzy Osbourne, they just created a new excuse to complete the excuse. Wait, you call my man Ozzy Osbourne. Hey, man. (laughs) (laughs) If you actually think about what they just said, that I'm shocked Wilder actually didn't come up with. But if Wilder did, I would actually respect it. If Wilder comes out and says, I fired JDs because he was in on a conspiracy, I would be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, because they were right. They're like, hey, when you was getting wrapped up, when you was putting on your gloves, JD's was right there. The official was right there. You know, everybody was chilling. So then I'm like, yo, Wilder, why didn't you call out JD's on this one? You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if in fact, these dudes put metal objects in the gloves and JD's was right there watching the whole situation go down, I mean, I would be like, yo, Mark Brillin spiked my drink. 
but JD's put the metal object in the glove. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, so that's why it's hard, man. It's just so hard for me to even. Time out real quick. Yo, Trill, now walk with me. Walk with me. Tell me G didn't just prove my point. By what? When I say it, he doesn't listen. <laughs> unless it comes from somebody else. <clears throat> Did I not say that already? Yeah. I, said I, that. I was rocking with you when you did say it before. No, but no, no, no. They just said now, it. But now the way you say it is like, I'm convinced now. <laughs> now, if you made this argument, I would walk with you. Dude, I said that. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, it's, all, it's, all, it's cool. Right. You just proved my point. But go ahead. <laughs> I was pretty much saying for Wilder, Wilder should have came out with that excuse to make the web of excuses complete. Because then it'd be like, it makes sense. But I'm just the, saying, how come you didn't have that energy from when I said it, though? <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't Tyson Fury, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for somebody. To, it's, not, it's not about the fact that Tyson Fury said it. And Tyson Fury's not the one who said it. It was... Uh, Ozzy, Ozzy and, and Tyson Fury had an interview. Oh, and they man. brought it up. So because they brought it up, now I can talk about it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, Wilder, bro, you should have beat them to the punch. That excuse should have came out your lips first. Now that they brought it up, you can't use it no more, you know? But I will say this. If I was Tyson Fury, real talk, all jokes aside, I'm not giving Wilder the, the, um, the rematch. I, I wouldn't do it, you know what I mean? Because if, uh, unless I believe, yeah, I cheated, so let me let him run it back. That's the only way I'll, let him run, it, uh, I'll run it back. But if, I, if I'm like, I beat you fair and square, I went to training camp. I, I did the, the necessary uh, fighting, training, tape studying, all of that stuff for you, and I beat you fair and square. I won the belt. And you're coming out here with all of these allegations that are extremely slanderous. There's no way I'm going to give him that run back. I just want to do it personally. I'd be like, yo, you know what? Why would I bless somebody that's throwing, like, dirt on my name? It doesn't make sense. So – that's why I could actually agree with Tyson Fury on this one. Like, why do that? You know, like, so if I was Tyson Fury, keep it pushing. Unless Tyson Fury was like, damn, man, the, there's, no, there's no opponents for me to fight. Money's drying up. Shoot. You know what? Hey, we're going to do the, uh, the trilogy. Just like if Wilder does it with Ortiz. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, come on, man. We, we know these things happen. But as of right now, I would make Wilder sweat. Me personally, I would be like, you know what? I ain't giving you Jack Diddley. Go to WBC for that that new Fisher Price belt that they got for you, because you ain't fighting me over here. That's what I would say to to Deontay Wilder and his team. All right, Ned. Yo, can you repeat the question? I got lost in G's um nonsense. Yo, what the yo, Ned? <laughs> like, nah, nah. Let me get let me get to it, cause. <laughs> he just give it. He just want to ask you to the fire. Give this um, uh, give this man a lot of more excuses to throw out to the media, which is nonsense, yo. And at the end of the day, we all know nobody cheated in this fight. This man got outboxed, outmatched. He was outskilled, and he thought he could come in here and land one punch. And now at the end of the day, he he, he did he pulled a tactic he'd been using so many times, his slandering tactics, where he goes out, oh. They didn't. They offered the fifty million. They didn't want it. Oh, uh, uh, AJ's ducking. Uh, um, Ortiz is one of the best. You know, like things, things, things like that. He's just, he's just lying to himself to hype himself up. And at this point, it's over, yo. The the match is out, yo. It's it's it's, it's done. While this while this the sun is about to set on Wilder, yo. And this is it. If he doesn't, if he can't really just fix this third match, or I, um, hold up. With Fury saying. <laughs> I don't want to fight him anymore. I'm just going to make this point out. But Fury saying I don't want to fight him no more with him slandering my name and my character, it just I, – I'm not mad at him for him saying he doesn't want to fight him. He's never going to fight him again. So with this, it's like, yo, I don't see I don't see how AJ would do business with a guy like this who, who's, who's, who, who lives in his own world. He doesn't really view reality like the rest of the world does. So – Sounds like somebody else I know, but go ahead. <laughs> so, with G, you trying to tell this man, oh, fire JDs, and then you you got saying you got you got everybody behind you again. Nah, man, it's it's oh, gonna it's gonna. Look- <laughs> <laughs> right, man, I didn't want to cut you off, but this is what I'm. I, really- I'm a little lost too, but yeah, I, I, I was trying to keep no, bringing the smoke, man. Keep bringing the smoke. Listening, it's called active listening. 
I'm not saying I I believe these excuses. What I'm saying right, you saying you would rock with him if he fired JDs and Tsu so Jerry. All right, bro, it was sarcasm. I don't think you understand okay. the sarcasm. You think I'm a believer, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> what I'm saying is Jeez. use every excuse Jeez. but the most obvious excuse. That's what I was stating. If he was listening to me, to I think you'll understand that. It's cool. Don't when worry. It comes to you and Wilder. Okay. When it comes it's to you okay. and Wilder, I really can't tell, yo. I can't tell tell the sarcasm you have for this guy or you, that you portray when it comes. Right, hold on, to hold on. Time about, time about. All right, so Nate, G saying that he was being sarcastic. He was saying that jokingly, but yeah. let's just say hypothetically, G was serious. What do you have to say about it, Ned? <laughs> yo, G was serious. G cut the crap, man. Your man messed up. He blew the bag and. It's his fault, yo. It's point blank, period, yo. Nobody got everybody. Nobody's to blame but Wada himself, yo. With all the things he's doing right now, it's shameful. It's, it leaves a it leaves a black eye on the sport. Like this heavyweight, this former heavyweight champion is sitting here doing this type of stuff. Mark, uh, we'll get into that next segment, yo. I, I'm done. I'm done, yo. G, shame on you, dog. I apologize. Master <laughs> So a few things. Just for the record, you can check one of our uh, mic. One of our most recent videos we made about Wilder, and I say to Wilder directly, here's what I need for me to believe. I need you to fire JDs. So um, conveniently after someone else says something, G agrees with me. But I'm happy G agrees with me at some point. Because that's all it takes is someone else to say it, and then G agrees with me. So I'm with you, Ned, on, 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 get, on getting that G real quick. Nah, but yeah, I, yo, cheap. Man, mute your phone, man. <laughs> yo, yo, take, it <laughs> <laughs> take it easy. Take it easy. That man's about to declare war. <laughs> don't get pulled over, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yo, they don't know, like, one of the funniest things when we were, um like, in an intermission, we were in between segments, and G said something to Ned, and Ned was like, really, G? You think I hate you that much? <laughs> like he didn't say like I don't hate you at all. <laughs> like so, he was like I hate you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be your own, yo. <laughs> no, but um, get back to the subject I hear. See, I left this out on the last segment because I knew we were going to do this one. So there's a few things negotiating in good faith. You know what negotiating in good faith means? It means you don't make up conspiracy theories. It means you don't come up with all types of crazy accusations that you can't prove. So in addition to what I, the advice I gave Tyson Fury in the last segment, which would be just a recap, if I was Tyson Fury, I would walk into that mediation, play Shelly Finkel's words, we'll fight Tyson Fury anytime, anywhere, any place, and say, great, we want the trilogy, we want to do it in London, December 5th. If he agrees to that, the fight is on. Let's do the trilogy. One, you and I both know Shelly Finkel won't agree to that. But that's going to make him look unreasonable because they're the reason why Tyson Fury and his team would even be there because they're saying they want the trilogy. Tyson Fury's offering you the trilogy. He's offering you the trilogy in, on December 5th in London where he already has a venue. He was going to fight a Jit Caballo, but since you want to make this mediation, we'll gladly allow you to sub in. Simple. Reasonable. That's all Tyson Fury needs to be. However, when they decline that, Tyson Fury has another argument. His other argument is that this is frivolous and he's not negotiating in good faith. He never was. And here's the reason why. Play the video of Deontay Wilder. And then you hit me with something in an egg-shaped form. But as Revelations chapter 45 verse 16 says, you're going to sell your house. Then he just got to play that. That cringeworthy video. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he gets, all he has to do is play that uh, cringeworthy video where Deontay Wilder legitimately himself, his face, his voice, says that Tyson Fury loaded his gloves, his team spiked his water, uh, the referee was in Tyson Fury's hip pocket. Play all that before a judge, and Tyson Fury says, why would I want to fight this guy? For one, I beat him already. Then he spread all this noise. Now he's here saying he wants a trilogy fight with me, but why would he want to fight me a third time if he believes that I did all this? He believes there was this almighty conspiracy put in place 
to beat him, to beat him. That's what that's what he believes, right? So why would he want me a third time? And 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 cite the video as proof that he never wanted the third fight. He didn't come out with that video until after Tyson Fury moved on. That's when he started doing interviews with his channels. That's when he started coming out making these accusations. So again, cite that video as proof that Wilder wasn't negotiating in good faith. And so I think there's more than enough that would show. Wilder never wanted the third fight. And plain and simple, all this aside, all these videos aside, all this nonsense aside, December 5th in London, take it or leave it. Let us know how you feel in the comments section and check us out on Instagram and Twitter. Also check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Bros. We could have been flawless yep. Fly enough to make people's mouths drop jawless How can two years be a race of one August And you know I have my pride So I had to get brolic All in all I can't call it Just know you're my queen Wish I was denim Cause then I be in your jeans Can't fight fate And you've been loving me since your teens But when you can't move forward You gotta wipe your slate clean 